O Most Holy Mother, intercede for us so that we may well understand the teachings of your Divine Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the explanations of the Fathers of the Church. O Immaculate Virgin, I offer you this work and ask that you bless those who hear it. And may it be for the greatest honor and glory of God. Amen. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O Almighty God, who didst cleanse with a burning coal the lips of the prophet Isaias, and vouchsafe in thy loving kindness so to purify me that I may be enabled worthily to announce thy holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily and becomingly announce His gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke The Cure of Simon's Mother-in-Law and Other Healings After he left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God but he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Comments from the Church Fathers St. Ambrose. After Luke has narrated how a man was delivered from the evil spirit, he goes on to narrate the healing of a woman. For our Lord had come to heal each sex, and he ought first to be healed who was first created. Hence it is said, after he left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. St. John Chrysostom, Homilii 28, in Matthew. He honored his disciples by living among them and thus increased their zeal. St. Cyril. See how Christ remains in the house of a poor man. He willingly endured poverty for our sake, that we might learn to live with the poor and not to despise the oppressed and the needy. It follows, Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. St. Jerome, Super Matthew. At one time at the request of others, at another of his own accord, our Saviour cures the sick, showing that He is far aloof from the passions of sinners, and ever grants the prayer of the faithful, and what they in themselves little understand He either makes intelligible, or forgives their not understanding it, according to what is said, Who is it that warns their mistakes? Cleanse yourself from those who are hidden from me, O Lord. St. John Chrysostom Matthew does not contradict Luke by omitting this point. The first seeks conciseness, while the other gives a more detailed account. It follows, he stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. St. Basil Luke speaks here figuratively, as if the command were given to an animated being, saying that the Lord commanded the fever, and the fever did not fail to do what it was commanded. It follows, she got up immediately and waited on them. St. John Chrysostom the disease being curable, the Lord manifested His power by the way He healed it, doing what medicine could never do. After being cured of a fever, patients need a long time to recover their former state of health. Here, however, everything happened at once. St. Ambrose But if we weigh these things with deeper thoughts, we shall consider the health of the mind as well as the body, that the mind which was assailed by the wiles of the devil may be released first. Eve did not feel hungry until after being tempted by the cunning of the serpent, and therefore the medicine of salvation must act in the first place against the author of the sin himself. Moreover, in the figure of that woman it was perhaps our flesh that suffered from her various crimes, and I will not say that the fever of love is less than that of heat. St. Bede 
for if we say that a man released from the devil represents morally the mind cleansed from unclean thoughts, consequently a woman vexed by fever, but cured at our Lord's command, represents the flesh controlled by the rules of continence and the fury of its own lust. Saint Cyril. Let us therefore receive Jesus. For when he has visited us, we carry him in our heart and mind, he will then extinguish the flames of our unlicensed pleasures, and will make us whole, so that we minister to him, that is, do things well pleasing to him. Theophylact of Ocrid. It must be considered how great the desire of the crowd was. When the sun was already setting, they brought him sick, without the hour being hindered. That is why it is said, at sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. Origin. They brought them to him about sunset, that is, after the day, because they were ashamed, or feared the Pharisees, or because they were occupied with other things during the day, or because they thought it was not lawful to heal on the Sabbath day. But he healed them. Therefore it continues, he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Saint Cyril. Although the Lord could heal all the sick with a single word, he touches them, showing that his flesh had the power to offer medicine, for it was the flesh of God. Just as fire applied to a bronze vessel impresses its heat on it, so the omnipotent word of God, by truly uniting himself to the temple taken from the Virgin, endowed with soul and intellect, granted her to partake of his power. May he also touch us, or rather, may we touch him, so that he may free us from the infirmities of the soul from the assaults of demons and from pride. It continues, and demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. Saint Bede. The devils confessed the Son of God, and as it is afterwards said, they knew him to be Christ, for when the devil saw him distressed by fasting, he perceived him to be truly man, but when he prevailed not in his trial he doubted whether or not he were the Son of God but now by the power of Christ's miracles he either perceived or suspected him to be the Son of God. He did not then persuade the Jews to crucify him because he thought him not to be Christ or the Son of God, but because he did not foresee that by this death he himself would be condemned. In fact, it is of this mystery, hidden from eternity, that the Apostle says, and which none of the rulers of this age knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 8. St. John Chrysostom, in Markham, Homily 5. In this that follows, but he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Messiah, perceived the humility of Christ. He did not let the filthy demons manifest him. For it was not fitting that they should usurp the glory of the apostolic office, nor was it fitting that the mystery of Christ should be proclaimed by impure tongues. Theophylact of Ocrid either because praise has no beauty in the mouth of the sinner, or because he did not want to provoke the envy of the Jews by being praised by all. St. Bede. He imposed silence on the apostles themselves, so that the proclamation of his divine majesty would not delay the fulfillment of his passion. St. John Chrysostom. When he had bestowed sufficient favor upon the people by miracles, it was necessary for him to depart. For miracles are always thought greater when the worker is gone, since they themselves are then the more heeded, and have in their turn a voice, as it is said, at daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. Greek Exhibitor He went to a deserted place, as Mark said, and prayed, not because he needed to pray, but to give us the model of good works. St. John Chrysostom The Pharisees at the eloquence of the wonders performed, were scandalized by the power of Christ. But the people, hearing his words, nodded and followed him. That is why it continues, the crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. Not the chiefs and scribes, but all those who had not been blackened by the shadow of malice and who kept their consciences upright. Greek Exhibitor there is no contradiction in Mark saying that the apostles came to him saying that they were all looking for him, while Luke says that the people were looking for him. For the people sought him following in the footsteps of the apostles. The Lord rejoiced to be detained by the multitudes, but commanded them to let him go, that others might also receive his teaching, since he would not be present long. So it continues, 
but he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. According to Mark, he says, This is what I came for, manifesting the elevation of his divinity and his voluntary humiliation. According to Luke, however, he says, For this purpose I have been sent, manifesting the incarnation and referring to his mission as the good pleasure of the Father. According to Mark, he says simply, that I may preach, while Luke adds, the kingdom of God, which is Christ himself. St. John Chrysostom. He also considers that he could, by remaining in the same place, draw everyone to himself. However, he did not do this, giving us the example to walk and seek out those who perish, as a shepherd searches for the lost sheep, and a physician goes to meet the sick. In fact, a recovered soul can erase a thousand sins. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. In fact, if he always remained in uninhabited places, they would defame him by saying that he was hiding. St. Bede If the sunset expresses, according to its mystical meaning, the death of the Lord, the return of the day indicates his resurrection. When the light of day is shown, the multitudes of the faithful seek him, and having found him in the wilderness of the nations, they have detained him so that he would not depart, especially since this happened on the first day after the Sabbath, on which the resurrection is celebrated. We have reached the end of another day of comments on the gospel that the Holy Church proposes for us to meditate on today, using the Catina Aurea. Thanks so much for following along. I ask that, if possible, subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share. May Our Lady reward you for this act of charity. And see you tomorrow, with God's graces. Please.